I saw my two boys uh, becoming late teenagers in life and I said I wanted to give them a good opportunity and Melbourne really and Australia was, was where it was going to be. This outdoor lifestyle where you got the beach on your doorstep and you got lovely winery, lovely drives down the peninsula, it's, it's a really stunning place to live. I've been very fortunate that my wife and two children have, uh, have been travelling with me over quite a number of years. And when I told them about moving to Australia and sold them on the lifestyle benefits and sold them on the scenery and certainly the opportunities for them to do well, um, it was a very easy sell. The immigration process was seamless. When we submitted our first set of application forms, we were appointed a case officer. It allowed us to be able to have open dialogue with somebody who knows the answers and somebody who can point us in the right direction. Well, I started off our business in a small, tiny room in my house, and 10 months later, we opened up a factory. And then six years later, we've got a thriving business employing eight people. We supply to New Zealand, we supply to Asia, America, and also some products into Europe. So sometimes I have to sort of put a pat on my back and to my family and my, my colleagues to say that I don't think we've done too bad here in Australia. People say to me, Joe, it's, it's hard to believe how you're so passionate about a simple piece of plastic or a packaging bag. I get great pleasure out of seeing a packet actually going through the whole cycle and eventually ending up in the recycle bin, knowing that it's actually served the purpose at the end of the day. The work-life balance is very important for us and our family. Um, I do work extremely hard. Obviously having my own business and setting up a business here from scratch has been an unbelievable welcoming challenge for us. We've really embraced the Australian way of life, the Australian culture and the love of the country. I'm very proud to be here in Australia. I'm very proud eventually to be called Australian. <laughs>